Hey, what's up guys? It is Doug again here with another YouTube video. I know it's been a little while since I've been around. Uh, just getting a bunch of stuff done around here and real busy at work. <sighs> but today I want to talk to you guys about uh, some essential pieces of kitchen equipment that I keep uh, at my house. I had a guy send me an email and he said, well, you know, what do you use? What do you like? And uh, I thought, oh, cool. I'll do a little video and show you guys uh, stuff that I've used working in the restaurant. Uh, stuff that I've used whenever I was in culinary school. Um, you really only need five kitchen knives. I could probably shrink this down to maybe three if I had to. But these are what I like. I like a nice heavy duty 10-inch um, chef's knife. This is going to do like 90% of my work in the kitchen. I'll be able to, uh, you know, cut down chicken, beef, salmon, pork, all that with this knife. I love this knife. Uh, I've had this since 2001 and I've used it pretty heavily. It's not the best knife, it's a Dexter and Russell, but uh, I beat the crap out of it, and it's held up really well for just being, I think I might have paid like 20 bucks for that, but uh, I love that knife. I also have a, uh, I think this is a 12 inch slicer. I use this for bread, I've used this on rib roast. Uh, it's a really great knife. You know, you have a nice serrated edge. You have those scallops in there that you can kind of see. That way your food doesn't stick. Um, this is an eight inch chef's knife. Uh, I love this knife. This was the first uh, chef's knife I ever bought. I uh, beat the crap out of it too, but I really like this 10 inch blade better than this. Uh, I have a little bit more real estate on this one. I appreciate it. Uh, just a little bit short for me. I am looking at getting a new chef's knife here. Uh, hopefully in the winter time maybe I can get a part time job working in another restaurant. I hate working retail, so I need to change that I think, get back in the restaurant business. But I uh, will buy a new 10-inch chef's knife at some point in time, uh, hopefully sooner than later. Uh, something else I really like is this new, I uh, shouldn't say new, I guess they've been around for a while, but whenever I was in culinary school, we didn't have them. This is a Sendoku knife. Uh, it was made by KitchenAid, just kind of a cheapie. I think that was 14 bucks. But I really like this for all my veg prep. Um, any kind of like, um, if you want to cut down cheese or anything like that, has the same scallops as the, uh, as like the bread knife. This is a really cool little knife. Not as fast with this as I am with this, but I like it nonetheless. And uh, this. This is a ceramic paring knife, uh, ceramic edge. Uh, it's supposed to say sharp. You're never supposed to need to sharpen it. But uh, I bought this a couple weeks ago, and the guy said that uh, this will last you forever as long as you don't, don't get too close to bones. I guess it'll chip the blade and it'll be garbage. But uh, I like a nice paring knife for opening up boxes. You know, any kind of uh, like broccoli, anything like that. Opening up boxes is a good utility knife to have. But um, those are some of my favorite chef's knives that I have. Uh, something else I really like, I think this is a three gallon um, stainless steel pot. I use that for everything, for um, <sighs> cooking pasta, making tea, uh, anytime. Um, want to do any kind of boiling you know this is kind of like the only thing that I use I like it, it has a copper bottom on it plus I think I bought this at a like a Salvation Army I think for like four or five bucks but uh, I love it I use it all the time something else I find really interesting are these resealable not really mason jars but uh, a little flip top we used to keep salts in these whenever I would work in the restaurant this has been with me for a while. Um, I think these are like three bucks at a restaurant supply store. I have about 15 of them because they're just handy to have. You know, really nice. You can see what's in it. Real easy to work out of. Has not a lot of real estate here. You can get your hand down in. You want to sprinkle your uh, rub, salt, anything like that. So, love these. Something else I like too. These half sheet trays with the uh, cooling rack on them. Uh, anytime you deep fry, uh, you want to dry out pasta, you know, something like this is ideal. Um, I like these too. I got this at a restaurant supply store. It's not like a non-stick, it's just restaurant grade stainless or whatever it is, aluminum. And uh, really invaluable. Use it for everything. Let me get these out of the way here. You need a really good uh, hunting steel too. I find that uh, you know, I'm sharpening my blade 
Yeah. Before and after every time I'm done using it. I have a guy up the road here that sharpens my knives for me once a year, whether I think they need them or not. Um, spring form tongs, 12 inch, perfect for pasta, good for deep frying. Um, little clamp on there so they stay shut. I got this in 2006 and uh, I love them. Pick up a couple pair if you can. But uh, that's what you're looking for. Nice restaurant quality style. You don't, uh, you don't want to buy stuff from the dollar store if you can help it. Plus, uh, you kind of get what you pay for. I think that was five bucks. I should have bought 20 of them, but I can always go back. Uh, nice slotted spatula, stainless steel, nice wooden handle. Uh, I use this on my grill a lot. And uh, really nice, you can use this for fish. You can use it for burgers, steaks. So, really love that. I think that's a... Uh, that's like a 10 inch, a 12 inch, something like that. But uh, almost done. 12 inch cast iron skillet. Uh, this is a lodge. If you can see, it's all worn down from scraping it back and forth across the burner on the, um, in the kitchen. I love them. I have uh, like four or five of them, different sizes, anything from a three up to a 12. This is the biggest one that I have. I use this the most. Um, I bake cornbread in it. Uh, pineapple upside down cake, I think you guys saw. Um, I even use an older one that I have as a uh, water pan on the bottom of my grill. So I know it's, uh, it's not gonna break or anything like that. Fill it up with hot water on the inside of the barbecue. Love it. Nice sturdy handle. You know, this will last me forever. And probably a other a couple other people too. You know, cast iron's like the best. And uh, final thing here. Hang on. Mixing bowls. I've used this at every restaurant that I've ever worked at since 2001. I've used this for uh, to coat wings toss french fries, make salad dressing, mashed potatoes, all of that's been done with this bowl. Nice heavy duty uh, stainless steel. I love them. Keep it, oil it up, put your fries in, a little salt. Yeah. Way better than the stuff you're ever going to get at McDonald's. Love this and uh, yeah. hopefully you guys can uh, Get some information out of this. You don't have to spend a fortune, you know, um, supplying up your own kitchen. You know, you can do this on meager funds. Like I said, I don't have the best equipment, but you don't have to. You don't have to have the best equipment to make the best food. Um, you know, a couple of the guys that I would work with would laugh at me for something like that. You know, it's not ankles, but, you know, my food uh, was really good and never got a lot of complaints, so. You, know, you don't have to have top quality to be a good cook. So, But uh, I hope you guys like the information I gave you. If you guys need anything uh, culinary-wise, go ahead and send me an email. Um, send your comments, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. I sure did. Thank you very much.